A couple weeks ago, I was talking to David Picciuto about some upcoming MagSwitch stuff that's in the works, and he asked me if I thought I could use magnets to make him a better blade guard. His is still in the way, even when it swings back, because it extends past the outfeed table. So David felt he would be happy to give up the ability to use the guard for large sheet goods if he had something that was small and he could set it up quickly and store it quickly. Now I'm not sure everyone would be happy with that trade, but I still thought it was an interesting challenge and a cool magnet application, so I gave it a go. Now it's important to note that I'm not endorsing this as safe for you to build and use, and certainly neither is MagSwitch. So there are no plans for this, and honestly, I debated even making this video. But the build itself could be of interest, so I thought I'd put it out there. The project was a good opportunity to use up a small bit of the scrap acrylic I have from a bunch of vice faceplates that were made incorrectly. And it was an opportunity to test out my new drill press vise that I made a few weeks ago. Uh, it worked great, uh, but I think I'm going to reserve this one just for wood, so I know I always have one that's not going to be full of metal shavings. And I used my old one for metal. And there's threaded rod on each end of this pipe that holds everything together, so I weld that in place. I built Dust Collection for this, even though David doesn't really want it, because I thought I had a kind of clever idea for how to do that. Uh, he's just going to plug this hole up and, and not use it, but at least I'll know it's there, and for the one test run I do at the end, I can try the Dust Collection. This metal ring is going to be made up with a 3D printed piece that's going to have some magnets in it to quickly connect the dust collection. I did want to give David the ability to adjust the height of the guard while still locking it in the right vertical orientation, or I guess horizontal orientation. So this slotted piece at the end of the pipe registers with a slot in the blade guard to let it go up and down, but uh, keep it oriented the right way. When I want my full split top gap, I can just flip my tool rest upside down and store it in place. Pretty cool, huh? So it's all set to go, just need some sanding and finish, which I'll get to in a second. But if you're curious about these magnets, these are mag squares. Uh, they're a little bit better if you want to mount something to them because they have tapped holes on all sides. So it was an easy way to connect them up to the post that holds the blade guard in this case. So if you're interested in those, there's a discount code for 10% off if you'd like to use them for any project. Uh, where mounting something to the block uh, is, is the best way to get done what you're trying to do. And take a look at this video if you want to hear David's thoughts about his old blade guard and what he thinks of this one.
and I'll close by showing you probably the one and only time this blade guard will be used with dust collection. Thanks for watching.